Morning, everybody. I was supposed to do this yesterday on the first day of the new event, the new summer event, but things got hectic and I didn't get to it. So now here we are doing it today. So I just got done the pre warm up. I've watched a few other people do this video. We scrounged up enough quartz, I mean, scrounged from the game itself, along with the leftover free quartz, excuse me, the leftover paid quartz from last time to do this. So let's hope we get lucky. We've done our pre-warm-up, as I said. Let's hope we have better luck than I've seen some people have. Because some people have been doing really bad on the rolls. I'm hoping for better for us. Um, so far, that first four-star craft distance we got says to me, oh boy, they've got some really sucky ones in this. I've seen a lot of baiting, where they bait you with something looking like one you want, and then you get crap or something you already have. Um, so I don't know what we're going to get this morning, but I scrounged up just enough to try to do this. I didn't really pay for a lot of this quartz. I only paid for roughly about half of it, and it was left over from the last summer thing. A lot of berserkers this morning. Um, but I really wanted to do one of these to kick things off, see if we got lucky. We tended to get lucky last time. Um, this time isn't looking so hot. And I've seen a lot of people doing rolls and not getting very lucky, so I, I'm starting to look like I'm following their pattern. But I wanted to see what would happen. Uh, I'm really looking for the same one everybody else is. I'm looking for the, uh, the Jean d'Arc one. But uh, there's a couple other ones I want to do later on down the road. So I'm trying not to spend any. Oh, there's a five star, but not one I want. Um, I'm really trying to save my money for some later stuff. I need to wait till I get paid to probably do, to buy any more quartz. Well, there's something I can at least use. I can at least use that. Come on, are you going to give me anything good? We're going to comment more on this after. I have a... That's the type we needed, but probably is not going to be what we want. Actually, this whole thing is looking pretty bad. Okay, so let's let's comment everybody on on what's going on here. So for starters, um, this is looking very similar to I watched I Stark and I've watched some other people do rolls under these banners. This turned out a lot like theirs. Which gets me the impression that the servers are making it much harder to get those summer servants than they did previously. I don't care what anybody says about the rates are always even, blah, blah, blah. Um, no. I watched other people do their roles on YouTube and they ended up the same exact way. Lots of craft essences, lots of junk servant. I Stark had to go through, what is it, four different times 10 rolls before he actually got uh, four or five before he actually got um, one summer servant and it was the one he wanted he want but he actually wants all three but it was the uh, five star uh, Jean d'Arc one and I get the impression contrary to what they tell you that they're gonna make it harder to get it here they're gonna make it harder based on other videos I've seen um, I have checked out other videos um, and the thing is, is that I believe that um, they're going to make it more difficult because they really want people to have to shell out for the new summer banner here. And the thing is, is that much like a lot of people, we can't all shell out. This is a tough time when a lot of people don't have money. They don't have a lot of money and yet they want you to shell out more of it. Well, guess what, folks? This, the... Um, the new stimulus package has not come out, so to the, those people that run the American servers for this game, do the words bleeding us dry mean anything? I suppose we could all blow you off and not ever buy anything. Then what will that get you? Nothing. See, we all lose in that scenario. And the thing is, is the game looks like it's tanking, and then maybe we don't have a couple more years with the game. Though they're only halfway through the Lost Belt which is the second the second main story 
So the thing is, they're going to be continuing this for a long time, and it bases itself off what happens in Japan. So as long as Japan keeps it going, we'll have material to keep it going here. But it's just a sad state of affairs, folks, that it's like, hi, I, I've seen indications, I saw it myself right now, we're going to make it harder for you to get what you want so that you have to spend more money to get what you want, even though it's not possible. Because remember, folks, some of you out there might argue, well, they seem to always have a lot of money to do these things. Yes, because people are donating the money to them a lot of times. So a lot of times what's happening is somebody else is giving up their money, the money they barely have, to somebody else to do this for them, essentially. And it's like, so one way or another, somebody loses. Or a lot of somebody's lose. So, it's a really rough state of affairs. Now, I at least came out of this with one three-star craft essence. I'll take that. I already had it. It's a free one they practically give you at the beginning of the event. If you go further enough into the actual storyline of the event, they give you one of these as a prize for winning the quest. So, it's like, eh. It's like, you know what, we're all going to see these. You can get these for free if your luck is good um, through, um, uh, what is it, the, the friend summoning. Or you can spend friend points. And if you're like me, you got like 300,000 of them almost. And you can just keep going until you finally get this card. So, I mean, I'm sorry, but this is not a big thing to me. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to chuck a few um, summon tickets in the direction of this before we're done. We're going to chuck two to be exact. And we're going to see if we can actually maybe get some craft essences or maybe get something decent for a servant this time, though, based on what I just saw, I don't think so. Now, um, I remembered why we didn't do this banner yesterday. I wanted to do a banner. I scrounged up enough quartz. We had 16 quartz left over from the last quartz batch I had bought. And then I scrounged up enough between doing master missions and selling fragments and um, uh, just earning them through playing the main storyline, which I still have a lot left to go in, and then going back and doing additional quests and so on and so forth, that we scrounged up enough to do 30, and I figured, what the hell, see if we get lucky. Now, I am not looking for, and let me point this out real quick, let me back out of this, guys, and show you, um, we cannot do another times 10, so we just want to back out. I am not looking for anybody in this one other than these two servants. So, why did I not do it yesterday? Well, it wasn't just because I was busy. I forgot. I deliberately waited till after midnight so that it was just these two. Now, here's the deal, folks. Um, I've been, like I said, watching some people. They have not been having good luck getting these two characters. Though I know some people have gotten them because I can use them as playable servants uh, for support characters during my game. Have I seen a lot of the new ones as support characters, though? No. And I think that's important to also prove that a lot of people are not getting these servants. They're not getting these servants. I also think it shows that a lot of people are waiting. They want that BB, or they want the one in the... In the... Now, here's the other one, in case some of you haven't noticed. This is the pickup, too. A lot of people aren't, don't give a flying rat's butt about these guys. I'm sorry, we all know it. The only thing they're the only reason they're here is because you can get summer um, uh, Spiritron dresses for them, and by that I mean you can get uh, new clothes for them to wear that look more like summer attire. Whoop de doo! Uh, nobody really cares. Uh, let's just be honest. Nobody really cares um, because does it do anything for the characters? No, it doesn't. You're spending, um, you know, you're doing a lot of extra work for really not a lot of gain. We all know it. But I had to wait until it was just these two servants. So I waited until after midnight. And then I was um, just wiped out from the heat and everything yesterday. And I fell asleep. And by the time I got back up, it was about 2 in the morning. And I just did not feel like doing anything except going to bed finally. So I didn't do it last night. I think I'm regretting that. Though we have had previous luck with Nero and a lot of the other five stars when we did it in the morning. It's not even 11 yet. I figured we were doing pretty good odds. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Now, we haven't done... Um, I don't think I've done my free summon. No, I haven't. Let's see how the free summon works out. Let's see if the free summoning is actually better than the normal one. Okay, we're going we're gonna to skip on ahead, guys. We're going to try. Wow! 
I actually did better than I thought it was going to. I got a, yeah, but next to that, okay. So almost everything was two, we got a three. So I actually would have assumed that this hour, based on this, I would have assumed this hour would have given us some good luck. I mean, look at this, guys. We got a, um, we got a code. We got a command code. Look at that, increase C-Star gather rate by 25%. That's, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I actually, that's the first one of those I got. Um, but I would have assumed, and it's like, it's like, who knows? Maybe I would have done better to not, um, do a, um, super success, um, before trying it. Now, I believe that that particular warm-up skill, based on what I saw during the last one, is not as effective as it used to be. They might have figured it out and finally weaseled it out of the um, the new stuff. Or it might have actually um, been undeliberate. But everybody remember, like a month ago, we had uh, that big, big update. It, we, we switched this thing over to a new engine and everything. It might have finally bumped it out. Because I have sometimes been having better luck without being able to do that. I thought it was looking like... Um, uh, super great successes were still helpful, but then I started looking and I said, wait a minute. I seem to be getting um, five stars whether I do it or not. So I think dumb luck has just come back into the equation. I also think they're rigging the servers from time to time. You guys have heard me complain about that and say that I think they rig the servers from time to time. Well, I think you're going to start finding out that... They're claiming that this is the percentage rate of you being able to get these servants. Well, I have a hunch that if I go around the community a bit more than I already have, people are having a harder time of getting it than they used to. And I think it's rigged. I think they're rigging it when these new things come because they know that they're going to get money from you guys. Everybody's going to spend money. Even I'm going to spend money eventually. But it's only Tuesday. I have two more days till I get paid. And I just paid rent on my house. And uh, to be more specific, the property it's on, and I have to pay a bill to my electric company, and I have to pay a bill to um, I think it was not my car insurance, but no, my cable company for the internet I use. So there you go, sixty-five bucks there, and then another like sixty bucks there. So that's a lot of money considering I don't have a lot to just shell out. Now my car repair that you guys have heard me talk about. I have not jumped into that yet because I'm waiting to get paid this week because I want to have enough money just in case it costs a lot for the parts I need because I don't want to ask this guy, hey, I need these parts. He tells me it's a lot of money and then I go, oh, I don't have the money. Sorry, I'll have to get back to you again. No, I want it one and done. I want it one and done. So there, I don't want to be doing it over and over and over. So I need to wait till there's some more money in. So I'd like to do more of these here. I was bummed out we didn't even get some good craft essences from this. But based on experience from what I've been seeing from other people draw, I'm not surprised. I'm not. I think the uh, I think the rates have been um, I think they've been fluxed. I think they're full of crap. Let's cause let's look at it, guys. All right. So let's look at not you know the seven percent and one point five. Let's look look at the distribution rates. The distribution rates claim this. But I have a hunch for this one based on what I see. Based on what I've picked up from other people and myself that has a load of bull. Now, we did get a guaranteed five-star craft essence today. Sure, we... I mean, uh, four-star, excuse me. Um, but it was garbage. Anybody notice they're not really showing you all the garbage stuff that they're mixing in, but they're doing it anyway. They're mixing a lot of garbage in with this one, guys. Which means when there's more garbage floating around than anything else, what are you most likely to run into? Garbage! So, not impressed. And I'm going to wait and see how some more future rolls go before um, I really, really think that they're rigging the servers against us. But I have a sneaky suspicion based on evidence that I have literally seen. Now, anybody else would like to go in the comment section and say they've had better luck, go for it. I'd like to know. Uh, it would be great to start a comment section, guys. Anybody that wants to comment on this, anybody that's played this game, and you've rolled under this, how long did it take you to get your first summer servant? Meaning, 
John? Ushimar Ushiwaki? I mean, how long did it take you? Not a summer servant. I don't know if they're even doing the, the previous summer servants, but I don't believe they are in these banners. But anything that is these two. I watched I Stark get a Altaria. No, what was it? Um, oh, gosh. It was, an, it was an archer, and you thought it was John here, and it wasn't. Um, crap. What was it? What was the uh, archer's name? It wasn't Atlantia. That was what it was. It was or, or Adelante, um, depending on you want to pronounce it. Um, and I've been in his spot before. They like to chuck those things in. And they're, they're what we call bait rolls. They think they make you think you got one thing and then you get screwed. Now, it would be great if he had something he, didn't, he never got before. But he really wanted to... And, of course, he's in the same boat as me. And we all are. We don't want to be spending our hard-earned money to make these guys more money. Because, you know, to get two rolls, you have to spend almost 40 bucks. And if anybody's noticed, they're not exactly chucking free quartz at us anymore. Anybody notice that you really don't get any of that? Now, we're going to use some summon tickets. You still get one of those every seven days. Plus, you get those in the store if you have the mana prisms. But for the most part, anybody notice the last free ones we got was only when they did the maintenance. We got four. That's where some of my four came from. But for the most part, free quartz, I've noticed, they're not stupid. They want you to spend money, folks. This whole thing is about you shelling out. They know that probably their profit margin goes up 200% every time one of these banners for the summer thing comes out. They know it. We all know it. So they want to make it harder. And we all know they do. Contrary to what they say, everybody remember, folks, I can say this. The last one, which was a revival banner, I got two Neros in the same roll. So the, I believe that was easier because those were the old summer characters. I think I proved that. But these new ones, no. They know a lot of people aren't going to roll on the old ones. A lot of people aren't like me that were behind the curve. So these ones I bet are harder. Anybody would like to prove me wrong, go ahead and put it in the comment section. You've seen it. You know of anybody that got a got a five-star. Maybe there, there's probably somebody, odds are favorable that somebody out there got... John on their first roll let me know put a put a link in the comment section showing what video shows the person getting that um, I'm not talking about craft essences either folks craft essences are important that's why we're going to use a couple summon tickets anyway but um and actually we got six of them so I think we can afford to use three right off the bat um but the thing is is that you know what folks um show me you know just the servants just the two servants here, or the three. I'm not interested in that Lancer, though. I'm really not. Um, show me and put it in the comment section somewhere, link it or whatever, or tell me if you did it yourself, um, where somebody didn't have to roll quite a few times before getting these. Because I'll put money on the fact that most people, most people, meaning more than 50% of the people rolling right now, don't get anything good for anywhere from two to three rolls. They want to make sure. It's like the great state of Maine here. A lot of state, uh, excuse me, a lot of towns make you take your driver's test if you're a new driver at least three times. Most people think that that's because, oh, third time's a charm, all that crap. No. Most of us that are adults here that took our tests are pretty sure that the state does it on purpose because coincidentally... Every time you take that driver's test, every time your children have to take that driver's test, you have to pay out every time. Which means all they have to do to get more money from your children is fail them. And they have to make sure, though, that they can't fail you like 20 times. Unless you really suck, and then, yeah, they're failing you for good reason. Most people, though, they desperately look for something to fail your child on. Why? Because... They get free money from everyone. Can you imagine all those kids having to do all their all the tests in a year and they fail them a couple of times? They can't fail them a number of times because people will get suspicious. But let's say you fail them at least two or three times. 15 bucks a pop? What do you figure? A couple hundred kids? So let's see. What's that? Let's see. Let's, let's say uh, minimum 30 bucks a kid. Okay, 30 bucks a kid. Let's say maybe... Um, uh, let's give it generous numbers because that's everywhere in the state. So let's say about a thousand. That's thirty. What is that? 
$3,000, $30,000. I think that's what? $30,000? 30 times a thousand. Yeah, $30,000. $30,000. The state gets, all you got to do is fail your kids twice. Or if you're if you're watching this and you take your driver's test, all they got to do is fail you twice. 15 bucks a pop. Boom. Instant money. Tell me this state's not... I mean, once again, folks, how do I come to this conclusion? Same way I came to the conclusion on this one. Patterns. You watch it, you see it, you can make out the patterns. The patterns are is that most people are getting hosed. And why are most people getting hosed when in the last couple banners they didn't get hosed? Well, there you go. Moolah. Money. I just don't, I am insulted by the fact that they think we're dumb enough to believe that the rates are still the same, though. Which, by all means, folks, prove me wrong. Feel free. But you have to show a really good pattern. You can't show me one guy out of a thousand that got something on his first roll and go, well, this proves it's, no. What you proved is that one guy has the same luck to get a lotto number and win big in the lotto, which means if he did that, he should go out and buy a lotto ticket. That's all you've proven to me. You haven't shown that there's a pattern that I am wrong. What you've shown is you've shown the one guy who's the exception out of a thousand. So, I'll be curious to see if anybody actually puts anything in the comment section about, oh, I know a whole bunch of people that got it with a lot better odds. I bet a lot of us either have tried it ourselves and haven't, or have no, seen or know somebody that also hasn't. And I'll put money on that one, folks. I'll bet on that one. But here we go. Um, it's the start of the rape, you know, raping you blind for your money season at FGO. <laughs> That's really what it is, folks. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about getting enough money for rolls, but I can tell you one thing, folks. Um, 40 bucks gets you about two rolls. And I don't exactly have 40 bucks just sitting around. If I did, I'd use it. Now, uh, my friend Chunky Jeffrey picked up his own Super Mario, um, so he doesn't need me for help on that. He picked up. It was nice of him to pick up his own Super Mario because he, in fact, he practically put himself in the poorhouse by picking up all these Super Mario things. So I'm happy that I didn't do it, I suppose, because then he got to go out and spend his money until he had nothing left. He actually started dipping into the negatives, folks. So Zippo left for money. So oh, oh yeah, he made it a lot better. Going on his own. Because then he doesn't have to feel like he has to ask me for like, well, can you pick up this and this and this and this and this? And it gets up to like 150 bucks. Which also, I'm going to remember this. So Chunky Jeffrey can never, never give me a hard time. Not that he really does about spending money on this. Or how much money I spend on comic books. Because I'm going to forever remember over a hundred bucks. I know he spent over a hundred bucks. I can do the math in my head. I know how many Mario things he got. I know how much they were. He spent over a hundred bucks, or he must have spent damn close to a hundred bucks on his Mario stuff. I'm going to forever remember you spent around a hundred bucks on Lego Mario. I don't care if I spend $30,000 on this game. I forever will be able to remember you spend a hundred bucks on Super Mario stuff. He'll never have a leg to stand on. So anytime he ever gives me a hard time about anything I ever spend money on, a hundred bucks on Super Mario stuff. Or probably, like I said, over a hundred bucks. Because judging by the look on his face when I asked him, I'm going to bet over a hundred bucks big time. So it's like, I'm never going to have to hear anything ever again. La 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 la. Uh, I'm sorry. Because there are times when your friends just forget that they're as bad as you are. And the thing is, is that then you have to remind them, well, who spent all this money on Legos? And remember, folks, a lot of times when you put a Lego together, people claim, well, you can reuse Legos. And you can, well, a lot of times when you put a certain set together, and I know he does, he super glues it together, which means he, is, he doesn't even get reused value out of it. So, it's a one and done shot. Which means you're spending sometimes up to 50 bucks on a set, you're going to put it together with super glue and never be able to take it apart. It's just there to be seen. So, I think we, I think I found that my friends and I are all basically just as bad when it comes to money. So, I hope to never hear anything from them again about, I can't believe you spent all that money on. No. 
new. Now, if he ever go, he he went on one of his videos and said, "I can't believe that you know the dark comic nerd was so dumb as to spend eight bucks on a freaking comic book." Well, I can't believe you spent you know. Um, let's see. Uh, I I guess the starter thing for Super Mario you could still reuse. You're, you're gonna play the game, but it's like I bet you spent more money than I did on those little figures. The little blind packs. The little blind packs. I know they spent, what, probably like 40 bucks on those things? I mean, what are they? They got to be at least a... I mean, I thought he said he got a couple doubles. I know he said he got six new ones. And then he got a couple doubles. So we must... Let's say, generously, he spent eight bucks. And those blind packs, what, probably five bucks a piece? That's freaking 40 bucks right there. So it's like... And then that doesn't include the tax. So it's like, you know what? I think we all can say right now, and I'm going to say it now, my friends and I should never poke fun at each other about how much money we spend on anything. And I want to point out, Chucky Jeffrey does not really sp pick on me about how much money I spend in this because he says he's just as bad. Well, now, I got him when it comes to comic books, too. Anything from here on out, I'm going to be able to use that Mario game that he bought for the Lego Mario game. I'm going to be able to use it as my, oh, you want to pick on me about how much money I spend? Well, let's talk about how much money you spend. Ha ha ha. I've got something now. I've had something before, but I've really got him now. So, I didn't pick on him when he went out and spent lots and lots of money on, uh, you know, loose Lego things on uh, the Facebook Marketplace and all these other things. No, no, I didn't give him a hard time about that. But now, I'm going to have him. Because, you know what? This game, he can use this game for a long time, this Lego Mario game. But there'll be a day where he will not be able to do anything with it anymore. There'll be a day. It'll just get disassembled or get put on the shelf and it'll never be touched again. So, um, I'm just saying, folks, I'm not much better with the way I spend my money, but you know what? I can also say I'm working for a living. So, ha, 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 some of us are working for our money. That's all I got to say on that one. Some of us are not making our wives go out and work for the money. And that's not completely true. I'm just giving him a hard time. His wife actually likes to give him um, a little bit of an allowance to buy stuff. Um, but she does work. And he gets money from something else. But in a sense, he needs to think, he needs to hear this one. I am working for some of the money he collects. Because my tax money goes into some of the money that he gets for free from a certain group. So remember, that money isn't free, it's taken from the taxpayers. So he needs to remember that my tax money is going into some of the money that he uses that he gets. Uh-huh. Yeah, how do you like them apples? So once again, I'm putting it down right, I'm putting my foot down right now. He's never going to be able to give me a hard time ever about how much money I spend here or on comic books or anything else. He is now just as bad as I am. I finally hit it. He's finally hit the high note that he is just as bad as I am. So there. Doesn't make a difference how much money I spend on this. He's just as equally bad as I am. We're not going to go tip for tap down to the cent. We're not going to go tip for tap down to the cent. He gives me a hard time. He's doing it without justification. Because he is as bad as I am. And his wife knows it. She'll, she'll take my side on it because she can't deny truth. And she won't, because she's a sensible woman, and she knows that her husband's a knucklehead. <laughs> but I just wanted to put that out there for him, because I know he's watching this, and for everybody else. So you'll never have to hear me say, well, my friend, or my best friend, or any of my other friends, no, they're, everybody's bad with money. Everybody. I have a buddy of mine who lives with his mom still, and I'm not picking on him for that. I did it for years. I had to. A lot of people still have to now, the economy's so bad. But he doesn't work. So where do you think all the money comes from? His mother. Including the money he spends. Yup. So, shout out to my friend Chris Bumby. Good man on you. You work for, your, for what you put your money towards. You are a good man. That's our other friend that we know does not 
work for money. At least the last I understood, he does not work for his money. So it's really a shame too, but he trashed his truck again, so now he really can't go out and get a job. Tr trashed it a few months ago. Boy keeps getting into an accident. Every time he fixes the truck, he gets it fixed, then he goes out and gets into an accident with it, and then he can't work, and he can't pay the truck to be fixed so he can go on the road, and uh, let's just say the pattern keeps going around in one big circle. So, but... I figure I've probably already gone long enough on this video as it was. It was short from the get-go, guys, so I figured to throw a few extra things in, a few extra commentary at the end here. I really wanted to talk about that, but I didn't want to do it at the beginning because I knew most of you would get bored and not watch it. Um, not that it was exactly spectacular. Now, just to be fair, because you guys haven't listened to me for everything, we're going to back out of this. Let's move me over here. We're going to back out of this. Let's do some ticket summonings. Usually they're crap, but we've been surprised before. Cannon fodder! Cannon fodder! Anybody noticing a pattern? It's like they don't want to give us anything good. I told you, I believe it's rigged. Now, I could be wrong in the next roll, who knows, but I doubt it. Nope, I believe the pa not that summoning tickets are uh, guaranteed, but folks, what are we seeing a pattern here of? Junk four stars, even the new craft essences, nothing but three stars. I'm telling you, this thing is rigged to not give out good stuff. It's a slot machine guaranteeing that there's a grand prize if you get lucky, and then nobody gets the grand prize, and someday you figure out that they rigged the machine to never give out the grand prize, and then they just called it, oh, bad luck for everybody. That's the problem, folks, is, is that they can claim it's just bad luck. That's why I say, every once in a while, one guy has to win. So they can say, well, look, we didn't rig it to never spit out a good thing. No. No, 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 no. They have to let so many people actually win so that it looks like they're not rigging it against the customers, against the consumers. I believe this is rigged poorly. If somebody would like to prove me wrong, feel free. I love that idea. Let me watch some people that actually had some good luck. I'll take it. But remember, folks, I don't count it good luck if you had to roll two or three times before getting a servant. Because remember, folks, I rolled a few nights ago. The last video I rolled, I rolled twice. And I did pretty good for craft essences if I remember on the first one and then got my four star uh, summer saber on my second one so I proved by the second one that you can get a four star and how are you going to argue that especially considering folks that I had the same odds of getting except for Nero, Nero had lower odds but all the other ones had .7 because I waited until there was four servants there was less chance, look at this one folks right here I'm going to show you 1.5% chance. And we couldn't even get that. I believe it's rigged. Rigged. The slot machine is rigged today, folks, to not spit out anything more than a couple of gold pennies. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I do not believe that today is a is I based on what I've seen. I Stark, I think he I think he did his today. He might have done his yesterday for all I know. So that means that maybe both days sucked. I don't know. All I can tell you with certainty, folks, is, is that I'm looking at my budget. If my budget looks like it has enough money in it to use 40 bucks and get some stuff and do some rolls, maybe we'll do some rolls tonight. It, uh, but I am keeping a close eye on this thing because I do not believe that the odds are in anybody's favor on this. I believe they are rigging it. It's, it's the old adage of the house always wins. I think the house is taking a little bit more of its cut now, though. Once again, in the comment section, folks, anybody put in some uh, links to some videos that prove me wrong. Tell me your personal experiences, but 
I have a how I have a hunch, folks. During this banner, it's the house always wins, and the house is going to win probably a lot more often than it loses. But you know what? Until I see somebody prove me wrong, I know after you do it enough times, you'll win. That's anything is like that. But I want people to prove me that they didn't. That it doesn't look like they rigged it more in their favor than they normally do. Prove me wrong on that one. And that means that I want to see more than just one link. Or I want to, more than just one or two people coming up and saying, Oh, I rolled the uh, Ushiwaka, the first roll. Great. Good for that one person. I want at least three. Three people. I know people other than my subscribers watch this video. Tell me who you are. Please. I'd like to see proof if I'm right or wrong. I really do. In the meantime, guys, thank you once again for joining us. As always, be healthy, be safe, and be good to one another. Peace out, everybody.